Muy buenas chicos, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos a una nueva entrevista, a un nuevo episodio de Sport Maníaco Summer Talks. En este caso estoy con Milika, el mid laner de Vitality, que por fin va a poder jugar este split con, con el equipo en LEC. Eh, hi Milika, how are you? Uh, hello, uh, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for the asking. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start asking about uh, your functions this this split with with your team Vitality. The some people may don't know. Uh, most people will know, but you couldn't play this this split. Then we will talk a little bit about it, but. Uh, what were your functions inside the team? Did you help them in some way? Uh, I mean, uh, last split, you mean like spring season? Yeah, spring. I mean, I was usually uh, not playing screens since, you know, they had selfie and uh, second, but mm -hmm. uh, every time the, someone needed the rest, I mean, I was always there, you know, I was mostly playing with Academy. Mm -hmm. so I didn't really have any involvement in LEC, but Uh, you know, if needed me for something else, I was mostly, uh, I mean, I was there. Mm -hmm. uh, also, about these, these problems you had, uh, you had problems with the with the visa, very common in the Serbian players. So, how did you personally leave all the situation with your visa problems and and the fact that you couldn't play and, and, this, and this thing? I mean, yeah, it was obviously, you know, pretty disappointing because Like, uh, I had Spanish visa and I had Russian visa and I got them both in like 10 days and like German visa took three months or even a bit more. Uh, yeah, it was kind of, you know, sad that I couldn't play the first split because, you know, spring split might not matter that much and it would be more like a warm up for me. And then in, on summer, it would be like, uh, you know, to uh, give our uh, best to go to Worlds. Since I didn't have it, I'm, I'm maybe expecting a shaky start at the, at the beginning and then coming back, you know, stronger. Yeah, it, it was pretty, you know, bad. And, you know, basically I was just home playing solo queue since uh, I couldn't come to Germany. And yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, what are your, your expectations personally for the splits? Uh, because I... I assume that you have uh, quite a lot of hunger to play this this split in, in LEC finally. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, we started streaming like five or six days ago, so you know we are we are still building that synergy. But um, what what I can remember before, when we were practicing for spring split, it's going uh, much better. Mm -hmm. so I, I think you know, of course, uh, si since EU has top four slots for worlds i think you, i i can hope for that but you know it's gonna be pretty tough hmm. uh, also your team uh, vitality didn't had the best result this this spring split because all the problems and, and stuff so why do you think this this summer will be different i mean it's just you know the when when people play with two different mid laners and then supports also swap sometimes It's uh, really hard to get used to it. I, I think when you when you have an LEC team, you need to build it over time. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't have like a constant on on, on players, I, I think you can't really like uh, improve if you keep changing players a lot. So I, I think that was the main issue that mo most of the players like were swapping. And then yeah, I think now we, we we know what we are on. Like we know who we play with. And uh, we know how to, how to basically build up the, the team synergy and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you, you told me that you play some scrims and, and training already. So I want to ask you about uh, the new team members that, that uh, your team announced recently, uh, which are NG and Alabrov. So you already played with them. And I want to know your, your thoughts about these two players. Yeah, I mean, uh, NG, uh, I think he is really vocal. I, I think that he, he really talks the most and he is the one who has those creative ideas. And that's, I think, what he may, might have lacked in the string. And uh, Labro is like more of a, a mechanical guy, you know, he's he's always there, you know, but he doesn't talk much. But he, he, he when he talks, he, he knows what, what he's doing, you know. 
So I, I think he's more on a, a mechanical side, while MG is like a, a team leader. Mm -hmm. uh, also, that the last year you were pl you played in uh, uh, regional leagues in in Giants, uh, you masters and also SLO. So I want to ask you, what's the difference between a uh, regional league coaching staff and a uh, LEC coaching staff now that you uh, have been with with Duke? This, this time and also yeah. with the rest of the team. Yeah, I mean, my my, my head coach was Phyllis in Giants and uh, I, I think he's like really good. I, I think he was one of the coaches that helped me the most uh, to like um, uh, become like an LEC level, you know, and uh, about the LEC is just uh, the difference is like the game is much more punishable, you know, you can't do that many mistakes, <laughs> people are just better. So here it's like more, it's uh, <clears throat> more like, uh, let's say, macro oriented, you know, and uh, every little macro mistake actually really matters. Uh, that's what Duke is actually trying to, to help us on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, that, that's the biggest, uh, like, difference, you know, uh, those small micro, micro, mis like macro mistakes, but, but little ones actually mean a lot. In regional leagues, you didn't even need to learn them because it didn't matter that much. Yeah. Um, also, uh, we have a, historically a great pool of, of mid laners here in, in Europe. So, how do you see the next, uh, the rest, sorry, uh, of mid laners uh, in the in the LEC right now, the other nine? Uh, well, from what I've seen in New Masters and from like people I played against, I would say like maybe you know pretty giants, and uh, I think like I mean obviously every one of them needs some kind of a, a improvement, you know maybe champion pool, maybe I don't know something else, map awareness, whatever you know. But I think like the the most like the people who who are mostly gonna enter LEC probably pretty maybe. Leader, he, he was always in LEC, but he might come back. And then, I mean, I'm not sure who who else on top of my mind. I can't remember now. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I would put those two like as a, as a top. Uh, who is the the mid laner that you are most excited to to play against now in the LEC? And what's your opinion about the your your the other nine uh, enemies that you will have now? Uh, well, I think. Uh, like I'm looking mostly to play against Caps, like of course, and then like Humanoids, I would say. And I mean, LEC is pretty stacked on millionaires, I would say. Like some people that I thought were like maybe worse are actually, you know, pretty decent. So I, I don't think any game on mid lane should be like a free win, for example. Let's say it like that, but. Uh, of course, like there, there are differences between them, but yeah, mostly I'm looking to play against uh, Caps and Humanoids. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, looking at your at your recent past, uh, when you were in in Giants, as as we as I said uh, before, uh, how and when did you did you receive the the offer from Vitality, and, and how did you react to that? When, when you know you will be in, in LEC? I mean, I actually didn't, I mean, I didn't like fully expect it. Expect it. I, I knew I had the chance, you know, but I, I didn't really expect it for like 100%, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, I think after uh, EU Masters, like uh, near the Iberian Cup, you know, in, in Spain, so around that time, I, I got an, you know, invitation offer how would you say it you know we, we had a talk and you know obviously i was happy but i knew about the visa even before that so i i really have to say wasn't sure that i was even gonna play the spring but yeah i mean of, of course like uh, it's uh, really meant <laughs> a lot to me and also talking about uh a little more about about also your past uh what do you think that are your main strength of uh, as a, as a player uh, from from the earlier of your career now to to LEC? 
Yeah, uh, I mean, I would say I was always a, a really good laner and I would always get something from it. But the usual thing was I, I didn't know how to transfer the, transfer it to, to the map, you know, and that's what I think that's what I think I learned the most in Giants, you know, and now, of course, like since I'm in mean, LEC, uh, it's mostly like those little things on, on macro game that are really important that uh, I have to learn. I mean, I am learning, you know, yeah. but usually like the I would say the lane and like for communicating when when I can do something with, with the prior hair or whatever is happening at the moment in my lane. Um, finally, um, you know you you have a lot of fans here in Spain. Uh, all the all the means with uh, Jose El Calvo and, and yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. thing. So uh, if you want to say something to them, uh, now is your is your time. Okay, I mean. Of course, like, <laughs> like this, this might sound funny, but like, since you, I mean, like, uh, I've been one year in Rants, you know, hmm. when I'm mad or something, I, 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 like, my brain automatically, you know, curses in Spanish, I don't know why, <laughs> like, I, it, it just uh, stays with me, but yeah, I mean, I, I want to thank, like, all, all the, all the fans that, uh, that are still supporting me, you know, and uh, that were supporting me in Rants also, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I hope you, you watch me in LEC. Hopefully I do good and I, I think I will, but you know, everything can happen. And uh, yeah, if, sometimes if, if you can, after the Corona, come to, come to, you know, like studio or something. <laughs> and yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, so, so by my side, this is, this is everything. Uh, thank you so much and good luck in, in LEC. Uh, yeah, thank you. Bye. Okay, thank you. See you guys.